Hello and welcome to RegoFix Tech Chat. My name is David McHenry. I am the engineering and technical manager here at RegoFix USA. When you think of RegoFix, you think of the different innovations we've come up with in the past, like the ER Collet or the Power Group system. But have you ever considered the ER nut? The original ER nut was a very basic type of nut. It was a metal to metal contact, no performance coatings, and really when this was designed back in 1972, there really wasn't any consideration for high speed applications. It had one job, push the collet into the tool holder and pull the collet back out when it was time to change tools. Well, that all changed when RegoFix came up with the high Q nut. Now, the high q nut is balanced by design. It's made for higher speed applications, which fit today's machining properties and applications you come across. It also is a high performance nut. Well, if you'll notice looking on the inside, you don't see any shiny machined surfaces. Everything has a black color to it. Well, this black surface treatment is an impregnation into the metal itself it gives you higher clamping forces. And if you want to see what those can look like, check the link below to check out our torque videos. You can easily see the difference from a metal nut to a high performance, high Q style nut. Now we didn't just stop there. After the regular UM nut came out and before the high Q nut came out, we invented the very first friction bearing style of nut. Now, there are no ball bearings in this. In a lot of the nuts you see in today's industry, you will see they have ball bearings inside of them. They work great initially, but those balls tend to get flat spots on them and you start losing clamping force and you can feel it when you're tightening the nut. The friction bearing nut, in this case, the GM nut, actually has a metal ring on the inside that is precision fit into the outside body which is chemically treated. That provided a low friction area and it allowed us to transfer the friction from the outside of the collet to the inside of the nut for higher clamping forces. Now, this nut over the old UM style, well, about a 200% increase in clamping force. It was a very big improvement. The high Q nut, well, it pretty much gave you the same improvement just with the surface treatment. But we didn't stop there. We also came out with a friction bearing style high Q nut. Now this gives you about 80% more clamping force than the regular high Q nut. So it now has two chemically treated surfaces that have the black treatment on them for lubricity does the exact same thing, removes the friction from the top of the collet, but because now I have two surfaces that are coated, it allows me to get much higher clamping force out of it. So the nut has developed considerably over time from a standard metal nut through a friction bearing nut to our chemically treated nut to a chemically treated nut that now has two surfaces on it for improved clamping force. One of the innovations you may not be familiar with that RegoFix was responsible for, well, that's the mini nut. The mini nut you will find used most commonly in a Swiss type machine or on cylindrical extensions, and it's made to have minimal external dimensions. So very, very thin profile. This allows you to get in tighter to parts or to have different tool holders stacked closer together. The original UM style nut that we had over here was not a high performance type of nut. Well, the original mini nut, it wasn't either. You'll notice it's bright and shiny all the way around on the outside and on the inside. It also has a full eccentric ring on the inside, which means it's not suitable for high speed design. It does use a crow's foot or a wrench that goes over the top of the mini nut to lock in and tighten that. Well, just like we went through and improved the UM nut, well, we did the same thing with the mini nut. We took the high Q process, the special heat treat process that we use, and we did that to the mini nut. 
we also improved the balancing on the inside when we redesigned the eccentric groove. So that means this nut is more suitable for higher speed applications. It also means I'm gonna get those higher clamping forces because of the high Q treatment that we have on the mini nut. Now, this particular one uses the exact same wrench as the original, so it's fairly old design. And these wrenches, well, if you don't hold them flat up against the nut during tightening, well, they tend to slip off. So we designed something to make sure that your safety was considered and we took care of you. And that is the MX style nut. It has the exact same outside profile and diameter and length as a mini nut, but instead of using a crow's foot or hook wrench that goes over the top, it actually has an integrated dovetail locking system on this. So when you actually engage the wrench onto the nut, it locks on for slip, slip proof application and tightening. So your safety was definitely considered and thought of when we thought about the MX style nut, the next evolution of the mini nut. One last innovation to talk about, well, that's the A-style nut, or the externally threaded type of nut. Now, these have been around for a long time, and you'll find these on your live heads, your floating heads, spindle speeders, and your angle heads that are in your different, different machines, your machine shop. And they have a hole pattern through the, on the face, and they have different pins in the wrench themselves that actually go into those holes and allow you to tighten or loosen. The only problem is, well, these pins wear or the holes wear and well you start slipping off and we see a lot of our customers actually take these old nuts and they'll grind flats on them so they can put an adjustable wrench on these to tighten or loosen the loosen these and that's really not a good application or process to have in your shop a nut that's been ground on so Rego Fix decided to come out with what's called the AX style nut and it works in all the same type of applications as the regular A style. But instead of having a pin wrench, well, it has a dovetail locking system. I have a male dovetail on the face of the nut and I have male dovetails on the face of the wrench. And when you actually put them together, they lock in. So the wrench stays locked onto the nut itself keeping your safety in mind so you don't slip off in the process of tightening your tools. Now, all the nuts we've talked about today are actually available in standard and in coolant offerings. So take a look at the catalog to make sure you pick the nut for your application. Next time you're in the shop and you see ER nuts being used, make sure you reach out to your RegoFix representative and thank them. And if you have any questions at all about the topics we talked about today or any RegoFix products, please contact your RegoFix technical team. We are here to help.